Welcome to another video. We are set up, we're ready to pour concrete. I don't have my watch on, but they're going to be an hour and a half early today. And we were ready. We were just kind of waiting at the shop, doing some other things. So we've got everything all set. We're going to pour 3000 PSI concrete, 13 yards for a 24 by 28. It's a beautiful day. It's not quite 70. Sun shining, birds are singing, the lilacs are out. It's just a great day. <sighs> this is just when it's so much fun to be a contractor. And I hope I say that after we finish pouring this. So hang on. I'll show you this ahead of the, the truck getting here. Typically when we have a floor drain, we try to get a one inch slope from about Oh, eight feet, nine feet out. So we'll pour the concrete all across the back. Fairly flat across there. <laughs> Hopefully really flat. Then we're, one person will hold the two by four there. This is exaggerating it. But we'll, the other one will work it around in a circle. And we'll go all the way around 360 degrees and uh, that will create this slope to the drain. You have to be really careful that you don't, as the concrete's being poured here, that you don't build it up higher or be lower. There's nothing, nothing more frustrating than pouring a slab and having this the low spot. We don't want that. So we're gonna shoot for perfection. So you can watch for that as we pour.
you can see we went to great lengths to uh, make it smooth and then we went to great lengths to mess it up. Now we're going to go to great lengths to bull float it and straighten it out. Just a beautiful day. Man alive. This, we came out with exa almost the exact amount of concrete. There was just a wheelbarrow left over. I think we got it. I think we got it. A couple places right out near the drain. Everything is bull floated. We've got everything sloping to the drain. That turned out real well. Now we wait for the power trowel to be able to go on it with the power trowel. Uh, maybe another hour and then we can hit that Then we'll make it nice and smooth. We'll also cut in the two doorways Those will be nine feet wide. We cut a, an angle. I'll show you a close-up of that a little bit later Typically we cut these just a small angle to cut so that it slopes so when the door is here and the rain hits that, it will come down and shed out rather than sit underneath there so it won't freeze up, freeze the door down. It doesn't take much. You can see it's stiffening up pretty well. So that's all it really needs right there. We'll hit this a couple more times as it gets harder. Chad's gonna do this thing. Pizza pan makes me feel hungry. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> Starts first pull every pull. So the idea of that pizza pan has a more official name, but that's what I call it. Is it just kind of smooths more smoothly than like a combination blades? It does take more torque. It's a little little harder to run. It's looking good though. So hey, thank you for watching this video, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit the like button, make a comment, and um, we'll have more videos coming out. Thanks again.